Hello and welcome back. We had the count, we had the sun, we had the average, and this video we go to extremes. Yeah, extremes. Minima, maxima, minima, maxima of our column. Okay, we want to have the extreme values out of this. Well, the count was read out with count. The sum was read out with sum. The average was read out with AVG. What would be the minimum? Min. What would be the maximum? Max. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Let's try this. Don't use average. Use min or use max. Make first max. 50 to 3 euros. Somebody spent 50 euros and 30 cents on copy cost. Who is that guy? Who? Huh? Let's select also the student name. Student forename and student surname. Now I will find out who this person is. It's Svetashovsky again. Svetashovsky spent 50 to 3 euros, much about ever, above average on you know, copy cost. I have to talk to him. Let's see who is the minimum guy, okay? Min. It's Heinz Petrushovsky as well. And he also spent five euros. But I mean, five is not even the minimum, right? Five is not even the minimum. Let's see. What what is really inside there? There's somebody with null, but it's not Heinz Petrushovsky, and the one with five is Karl Carlson. Okay. Last video we had this this topic with uh, this Kowalsk. This is also kicking here with minimum. Right? So I have to write here also Kowalsk. And zero. But again, I it's Heinz Petrushovsky, right? If, I mean, the minimum and maximum is Heinz Petrushovsky. How can this be? This is simply wrong. Yeah. We have to take care. Yeah. This min is only returning one result line. Yeah. So it's only returning one line, and we're getting. On the, the first, the forename and the sure name of the first line, that's Heinz Petrushovsky, and the minimum of the all other lines. Yeah. We only get one result set, yeah. and it's just was it was just luck that at the max, at the maximum, it was this Heinz Petrushovsky. It was say this Heinz Petrushovsky because it's not me. I don't copy too much. So if we now select in the minimum, we are also getting the minimum of these costs, yeah. But we are getting the first line of the table, Heinz Petrushovsky. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? So how do to to do this? How to do this? We have to select. I will use the history yeah? from student list. Okay. That's exactly the same like before, but I'm not using the minimum. I'm just using the student cost. Okay. If I do this, I get a list. Okay. If I'm adding a where statement, okay, so where I say where, uh, 
Yeah? And I say this coalesce student copy cost, copy cost equals, okay? And now, now I make a inside request to get out the minimum or the maximum. Okay, so now book, I select this line here. Okay, I'm getting all lines, but only the lines where the student copy cost equals the minimum. Back. Illegal parameter type. Of course, <laughs> I do not have to select student forename and student surename here. This cannot be correct. Okay. So, select this. Rare coalesce. And then, of course, it's just the minimum and no, not the student forename and the student sure name. Now this should be correct. Now I get Carl Carlson is the one with the minimum. And that's a Carl Paulson. Sorry, sorry. Carl Paulson, and that's actually true. Okay. If we want to have the maximum, just have to write here max. Good. It's still Heinz Petrushovsky. Okay, I admit. Uh, you see, you really have to take care. Yeah? And also, you see that the lines here, they're really getting long. Yeah? So, this S clause does make sense. So, I want to add here S. Yeah? So, I want to write student forename S. Forename, yeah. Student surname as sure name, and the copy cost as copy cost. Looks better, right? Looks much better. Smaller. Yeah. Give it new names. It's working good. So. Yeah, you see, you have to take really the care. You have really to take care about some, about the structure. You really have to take care about the structure of the structured query language. Of course, you have to take the care about the structure. Yeah? It really does exactly what you're asking for. And if this is not what you want to see, ask different. Okay? So this gives you a little bit insight into how this is working, hopefully. So, we're done now math. I think we're done with this. Yeah? Math is, is fine for us. Uh, next thing we are going to do is group the outputs a little bit. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.